the most important document in American history bears his name. And so does Carroll Gardens, Carroll Street, and Carroll Park, all right here in Brooklyn. He was a trailblazer in the fight for religious freedom and was instrumental in the colony's decision to form their own nation. Here's what you need to know about Charles Carroll of Carrollton. Charles Carroll was Catholic. In fact, the only Catholic to sign the Declaration of Independence. In the years leading up to the Revolutionary War, Catholics were ridiculed as disloyal to England because of their ties to the Pope. And no Catholic could hold office, vote, educate their children in the faith, or worship in public. Charles Carroll advocated for independence early, and it was largely his influence that caused his colony, Maryland, to support the revolution. In July of 1776, all the members of the Continental Congress put their lives and their property on the line and broke ties with England, declaring themselves to be the United States of America. Because of his key role, Maryland sent Charles Carroll to pen his name on the Declaration, just a few lines below the President of the Congress, John Hancock. As the wealthiest signer, Charles Carroll had the most at stake. His 10,000-acre Maryland estate was called Carrollton, a title which he used in his Declaration signature to distinguish himself so that when King George came for the Patriots, he would know exactly which Charles Carroll to look for. After the 56 brave men signed the Declaration and the Revolutionary War began, the restrictions placed on American Catholics came to an end. Charles Carroll's cousin, another prominent patriot named John Carroll, eventually became the Archbishop of Baltimore, the first Catholic bishop in the United States. By the time of his death in 1832, Charles Carroll was renowned as a thinker and a politician. He was the very last surviving signer of the Declaration a champion of independence and religious freedom. Reporting for Currents from Carroll Gardens, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.